Welcome back, Officer Republics, your course on our police chief, AP Gaines. I'm going to be honest. This Q&A about Datacrons made me cry. I thought that the reason I would be crying today was because life sucks. But no, alas, there is one thing slightly worse than the never-ending crippling depression of life itself, and that is this answer to Datacrons. Now, we already knew this because of the post, but this is just reiterating something that I think is quite possibly the dumbest thing ever. Um, can I use a Datacron on a team that has some members at Relic 5 and some at Relic 3? And will only the members of the different Relic levels get the corresponding benefits? I.e. Relic 3 will get level 1 to 3 bonuses, Relic 5 gets the 1 to 6 bonuses, or must I have the entire team at Relic level higher in order to receive any form of bonuses? Their answer, of course, being... For stat alignment and factional bonuses, the entire squad must be at that relic level or higher to activate that datacron level, which means if you have one guy at R5, everyone else at R3, you only get the R3 1 through 3 effects, right? Pretty simple stuff. For character-specific bonuses, that specific character must meet the relic requirements in addition to all of the previous bonus mechanics being active. At the above example, all members will get the bonuses from level 1 to 3 because the entire squad is relic 3 or higher. Now. Here is the problem with this. That means I can no longer use any squad, any squad, a very, very minuscule amount of them are usable with Datacrons because of the way the sets work. Inquisitorious First Order and Galactic Republic, I believe, are the first ones. I'm a 5 million GP player. This account is two and a half years old. I don't have any Inquisitorious, and I don't really have any First Order, which means my only chance is Galactic Republic, Right? And I have a bunch of highly real Galactic Republic because they're great characters. But here's the problem. We're going to use an example from the Galactic Republic. I have a four-star cam, which means I cannot use cam at all, or at least not on a team that I want to use a Datacron with because he's not relic at all because he's four stars, which means I can't use my Datacron bonus for one of the most powerful teams. Like, what if I could have applied this Datacron to my Qui-Gon Jinn team and made him extra great on defense? I just have to not use cam because he's not R5 or R3 or R1 or whatever, which means I can't even use a data current on that. And that's not even the problem. It's not even specifically Cam. I'm talking about every character that is usable at three stars is no longer really usable at three stars if you factor in data crons. I can no longer run an Emperor team, an Empire team, with a three-star Mara Jade because she will prevent me from using a data cron. And while in this first iteration there are no Empire data crons, you can apply this to Dash. You can apply this to Cam, to Mara Jade. You can apply this to freaking Fat Bar or any other character in the game who is useful for free-to-play players not at Relics. One of the great saving graces about a couple of marquee characters a year. We get how many marquee characters a year, and a couple of them, Iden Versio, are usable at low stars. And because they're low stars, they can't be relics because you need to have seven stars to relic a character, which means you have to have seven stars to relic a character to use a Datacron, which means that if there's players out there, like a lot of you, a lot of you guys don't care. You have a bunch of R5 teams. You're fine. But how many of you guys, tell me in the comment section, I do promise I read all the comments. I oftentimes don't reply to a lot of them just because I see one bad comment and I get depressed and then I just stop replying. But I do read them all because I'm an egotistical maniac. Let me know in the comment section. How many of you guys have a couple of useful teams that will likely get Datacrons that are probably like your only good shot at using Datacrons that have a couple of characters? Three stars, four stars, gear 11, gear 12, not Relic 5. Which means that the very small amount of Datacrons that you get to use to compete against the people you're already facing in GAC who are millions of more galactic power higher than you. So not only do they have the advantage of millions more GP, they have the advantage of probably better ships, the advantage of more relics, which means they can actually use Datacrons. So you went from being lower in GP, having less characters, having less relics, having less GLs, having less ships, but probably being a higher skilled player against they have every benefit. And now they get to throw Datacrons on top of that and you can't use your fucking Datacrons because you don't have every character at R5. Which means not only do you have to punch up already, but now you're punching up and their teams have Datacrons on top. At least previously, like, you know, if you're doing Crate 8, which a lot of people can't do Crate 8, but at least you're getting Omicrons. Like, the Omicrons might have been maybe fair to where, like, 
they have three and you have two or they have seven and you have five or something like that. But now for a lot of players, you literally will not be able to use a mechanic that is giving them a boost. And is this a problem? It shouldn't be. The reason this is a problem is because of two things that Capital Games needs to fix right fucking now. They are ruining the game. Yes, we did an entire stream talking about like evil mobile game monetization practices. So from a business perspective, like as AP Gains, as CEO of AP Gains Esports, you guys are fucking geniuses. AP Gains as a YouTuber and player of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, why are you fucking doing this to your game? Two things. Conquest hard mode should not be GP gated. It is fucking over players who can easily get now not only access to better conquest units and better crates and better rewards at 2 million or 3 million galactic power because of some arbitrary numbers like someone's like 4 million and proving grounds so basically i'll just lump those in together proving grounds and conquest and now datacrons now they won't have access to nearly as much resources because they don't have some arbitrary number of 4 million galactic power like, I'm sorry, Capital Games. I haven't been playing for 70 million years. I'm a new 2 million GP player. I'm, my account's a year old. I'm fucking grinding, but I don't have 4 million GP, so now I'm going against people. And that leads us to the second problem, is matchmaking has no upper limit, which means there's no downward limit, which means there's no fair or skill-based competition happening whatsoever, which means now all of these problems are so much, so exponentially worse for lower level players like literally if they just said no gp gate for conquest and matchmaking is zero to two million two to four million four to six million six to eight eight to ten you know ten to twelve million gp go have fun i would sit here i would go live butt ass naked and i would say capital games your game is perfect your game is perfect because yes, you can pay to get ahead, but you can pay to get ahead in every game. This game has been one of the rare games that I have played where you can legitimately play your entire career free to play, be competitive, have fun, and have a relatively similar experience to a lot of other players that is meaningful in the community and with your own you know, self of accomplishment, completely free to play. And those two things are making them so much worse. Like, oh my goodness. I don't know if this video is going to make it to YouTube. I'm going to need to decide whether or not I click publish after recording this. I'm supposed to be doing other stuff with my time right now. I mean, just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to. 